El Geo Marraquet Governor Alex Tolgos spent the better part of Thursday morning being questioned by Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission detectives over links to a 200 million shilling fuel supply tender. Tolgos insisted he had not dipped his fingers in the cookie jar. Meanwhile, Homa Bay Governor Cyprian Awiti had a difficult time responding to audit queries during his appearance before the Senate Public Accounts Committee as it emerged that revenue collection had dipped by over 100 million shillings in the past four years. Here's Chim Tai going. After two hours of questioning, El Geo Marraquet Governor Alex Togos emerged from the revolving doors, a picture now common for county chiefs who have had to respond to corruption allegations. The issue under investigation is attended uh, from 2013 to 2016, and the total amount of fuel which was applied was 742,760. So I'm wondering where the media got the 200 million. Togos faces accusations of abuse of office, conflict of interest and flouting of procurement laws in relation to a 200 million shilling fuel supply tender. Mostly this fuel was applied to the county ambulances and uh, others were supply of LPG gas to uh, some of the health facilities. It is alleged that Tolgos single-sourced a company in which he was a director to supply fuel to the county government. I, I used to be a dealer for Oil Libya Company. This is a station which I used to run before I became a governor and at the moment I uh, have relinquished the station to another dealer. Meanwhile, Homa Bay Governor Cyprian Awiti had a rough day to the Senate Public Accounts and Investments Committee, coincidentally chaired by his senator. Well, I may not have the full gasp of everything that we're doing. The Homa Bay governor who has been ailing for a while and had partially lost his sight enlisted the help of his aides and close staff to oversee the running of affairs in the county. Revenue collection was one function that took a hit. From 232 million, next year 192, next year 144 to 101 million. Are you collecting and pocketing? Or does it mean that the economy of Homa Bay is in a deflation where the economy is not growing, in a recession. I am not going to defend this one. However, the economy is bad. <laughs> <laughs> I must say that. We, we, must, we must look at Huma Bay as a rural county. The fees are also a problem. Uh, 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 sometimes one year they cannot be there. Uh, and, the, and, and, and some of them are taken to Uganda. So really, really... Or, or the governor. When you indicated that the business is bad, it is not true. Well, or the economy is bad, it is not true because you actually increased in your business permits, which shows that more people went to Homa Bay to open their businesses. The governor had challenges responding to the 2017-2018 financial year report since during that period he was ill and also battling a case challenging his re-election. Chemutai Goen, Citizen TV, Nairobi.